When it comes to energy usage, you think of planes and trains and transportation, that kind of thing, but it's really the built environment that is an energy vampire. Nirmeen Abdel Galil is with the university here in Egypt, and you found a way to take your desert sand yes. and squish it together and make these bricks that aren't fired, they're just squished, right? Yes, yes. The sandy soil actually is available everywhere in Egypt. So we just take the sandy soil, we took the sandy soil from the university, the local sand, and we put a little uh, amount of cement. We made the mixture using water and then we compress it in a press machine to uh, get this type of uh, bricks. It's a Lego light. Yeah, it's a Lego light. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's easily constructed and also it doesn't need um, uh, the conventional thick mortar, very small amount. Uh, it doesn't need also uh, plastering because as you see, it's a very smooth uh, surface and it doesn't need firing. It's made of alternative technologies in the walls, uh, roofs and also uh, wood replacement. It was an attempt to reduce the widespread reliance on high emitters, specifically steel, cement and fire bricks. So we succeeded to uh, save 72%. We used only 28% of these materials by weight compared to conventional systems. I mean, This is something they've done with the soil in South America. Yes. But you've yeah. taken that technology and brought it over here to the Middle East and you've been able to change it a little bit and use your soil. That's right. Uh, it's a technology transfer, but actually it was very challenging because of several problems like the difference in soil types, weather. Egypt is very dry, yeah. so during the production and curing, we need humidity. And how do you do that? How do you add humidity? You just spray it down or something? No, or? no we cover it with the plastic bag, plastic uh, sheets for 28 um, days. But uh, the problem is with the water because we want to save water. Yeah. So we managed to have it in a humid environment without spraying it every day with water. We just, we just did that one, one day only, for the whole 28 days, to save water. So also, the second thing is the, uh, the soil, is, Egypt, Egyptian soil is very sandy, so we don't have this uh, uh, clay to stick it together. So, uh, for example, in Latin America or in uh, India, they have the red soil with the very um, uh, fine particles, so this was also challenging. Uh, third thing is the coat. Uh, if you follow exactly what's written in the, for example, uh, for Brazi Bra yes, the Brazi yeah. yes, the Brazilian code, the um, Egyptian code is very strict. It, uh, the compressive strength and water absorption are double what they are require in Brazil. So you don't get the, the accepted brick here in Egypt. We tried a lot, a lot, and then we, uh, at the end, we succeeded to, uh, to obtain the brick, the needed brick, and uh, it was uh, certified and uh, and we got a patent for it. And, and yeah. this, this here will cut down on the energy use inside the home because it, it, uh, it's more efficient and it also keeps in the heat, keeps out all yes. the, uh, all of the uh, things that you don't want in there, like bugs and stuff. Yes, we measured, we measured yeah. the temperature and humidity for 36 hours, yeah. continuous. And uh, the outside uh, humidity and temperature was fluctuating. They were fluctu fluctuating. For example, the temperature was 40 and then 60, till 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside, it remained 25 only degrees Celsius with plus or minus half degree only. And so that's without air conditioning? Without air conditioning. Wow. For, it's because of these holes. So uh, these air gaps. Oh. You don't need a double wall with the air gap. I can in see it. <laughs> Well, and that's these awesome. Holes also. <laughs> Nirmeen, and, thank you so thank much you. For, for showing us what you've built here. Thank you. And uh, maybe that will change the way buildings are built here in Egypt. Thank you so much.